Kevin, when I think new homes in the UK, I think of you. What are the biggest challenges that estate agents face selling new homes? So in part one is that sometimes uh, there is a perception that the price of the new build unit is well above that of a comparable size second hand property. Well there is this new build premium isn't there? It's not a set premium, okay? It's not a set premium um, that you would sit and say, well, it's, you know, a new build is automatically 10% more than something else. Okay. You know, what you've got to understand is, well, why is that price difference there? And I think, you know, yes, it's a challenge in terms of maybe what they might be facing versus second hand, but if it's explained properly and the client understands the point of differences, so, you know, it could be the savings that somebody's going to get because of the sustainability of the house, could be, you know, the high level of specification that's gone into it, all sorts of things. Some people just like brand new. There's a, there's a real following for new build. Um, and, you know, I suppose, that, you know, one of the sort of the other points around it is more, you know, the developer's demands can be quite a challenge to, a, to an agent uh, versus second hand. You mm -hmm. know, maybe there's sometimes a perception that second hand can be quite quick. Yes. You know, quick and easy. Well, we can tell the vendors um, what to do, but you can't tell new builders, can you? Yeah, um, there's that in one. There could be time lag. So, big time lag around, you know, taking a reservation today to completion that could be 10, 12 months away. It's quite a thing for cash flow, um, not just for the agent, but also then, you know, how that sale process, um, you know, works its way through from a buyer. Um, how would you recommend um, estate agents deal with new home builders? I think you've got to go into the relationship of a house builder and set the stall out from the beginning, which is that we're going into it as a partnership. Okay, I think too often the agent can be seen as the whipping boy and the point person to blame when things don't go wrong. And I think, you know, in part, that might be because the agent's over-promised and under-delivered in terms of how they've set that out from the beginning. For me, the big piece that I did, any house builder I go into negotiation with, this is a partnership. You know, you need us, we need you, We've got to work together and we've got to work towards the common goals and objectives. You've got to understand, Mr. House Builder, that if you wanted me to cash flow, you know, I'm not making the profit that you're making on the on the transaction, you know, and I you know, there's a big there's a big cost for that. Um so yeah, I think you know that that would be so are there anything else that you want to add to this before we, we wrap this one up? No, I don't think so. Lovely, thank you very much. Thanks.